Hello and welcome everyone for the second time since Black at the RTSD channel and as soon of course as we close the stream then the players suddenly were to be found and therefore we're gonna be continuing with today's stream it's going to be 2v2 and between SOE straight RAE and we're gonna be playing with the Walker team that's also having a bit of a fight a bit later against DT so that which should be another highlight of today's stream but maybe it's gonna be already happening here as the first map is gonna be for SOE Marsh so it's gonna be right proper one that's one that we see quite often set and Loki for them quite standard and Zeus and Oranos for the others so quite different you can see all four different civilizations are available here as can have a vision already cast by Leon into the middle so he doesn't want to be using it a bit later uh, potentially for 444 uh, dropping on somebody with the shifting sense he's gonna be playing a bit differently we're just gonna be getting vision with a few animals that he's gonna be converting because there are gonna be plenty of them all around here as this even for example I have Horus for the plus two town center population slots pretty gate relic to be had all around all the way to the top this is going to be right about now boots of kick everything for better hero movement speed and it's quite a nice relic to be had that to be useful and caravan or back wagon if the game is gonna be a bit longer then maybe it's gonna be actually rather good but it really depends I kind of thinking we are having overall kind of aggressive gods a bit no, not that like entirely looking at the set and the zeus it could be also kind of interesting so it's gonna be really depending on what they are gonna be deciding to do and joe yes that's exactly how it was because they were supposed to be starting earlier uh, at basically the straight 20 but unfortunately their opponents took a bit of bit of time uh, to arrive so hopefully they're gonna be playing a bit quicker games so that you don't have to be too delayed in there but nonetheless, let's kind of concentrate on the games here. Having quite interesting civilizations. I'm really thinking this could be a bit, not really that long a game with what we are having here. But, well, you never know how it's going to be developing. Uh, so, and it can be going all kinds of different ways. So, Eye of Ornlo, that's going to be basically counter infantry, extra damage. That's certainly quite a nice relic to be had. Another one is the one Scrap and Dun that Magic didn't use earlier. That's going to be Scrap and Behemoth versus buildings and potentially even siege towers and other things as we also break like we have already seen and that's the bolt and it's gonna be pretty much cast against the priest and it's definitely well done unfortunately you already found it a bit late and therefore there's gonna be one piggy and it's gonna be forcing this oracle man already coming forward and basically straight towards the base and that's of course gonna be resulting into his pretty much a prompt death all the way to the top, that's gonna be pretty much the last relic, that, if I remember correctly. That's gonna be Pelt of Argus for a plus six unit LOS. Quite a nice one to be had, and of course the gold mines combination with the TC, quite nice for Yule, for potentially going for the boom for the boom in. I'm gonna be really curious what he decides to do. I remember right about now it was last week you were cast in one of the games. I think that we will. No other that we were. And he was playing Pocket in there. And he was kinda taking a bit of a time in there before he was fully boomed and fully prepared for the battle so let's see what he's gonna be choosing to do here because 2v2 is a bit different than 3v3 for quite obvious reasons uh, but nonetheless it's gonna be already of course coming back with all the food and how's it looking we are at three minutes oh five for Leondua and he's gonna be of course missing quite plenty of food still for the advance because he probably just already clicked yes so that's gonna be very nice advance time for 05 for him you can see he's right now going for all the mining camp rather for all the gold right next to the mining camp at this point so, you're gonna be about now watching what's gonna happen with that. So, Leon are going this quickly. Sun Tzu so far having quite nicely positioned piggies all around. Advancing about 4.30 himself. He's so far dropping only one temple. Second temple so doesn't seem to be coming yet. As all the way onto the left side, this is going to be the advance also coming forward from Kushiro Izumi. Seems to be well prepared potentially for some kind of will rush or anything like that. But I don't think you can be expecting anything like this because, of course, this is not era and therefore he doesn't have the skin of the Rhino. So that's already one monumental soldiers for him. Now we're really advancing quite quickly. So I'm kind of curious what he's gonna be exactly doing. He's scouting right about now with the Hyena. Maybe actually jump in here. It's looking like quite a good spot. He's waiting there. So animal is there. Pharaoh needs to be coming in. Oh yeah, he's gonna be jumping onto the Hunters, exactly. They are already running away. Yeah, he unfortunately shifted in a bad position. Could have been shifting a bit more to the top, could have been potentially stopping them. But at the same time, he's gonna be at least forcing those villages not to gather anything at all. He does have at least a few piggies that he should be definitely positioned behind the TC. But it seems that the shifting sands didn't exactly work all at well as he would have hoped. And therefore, well, 
this poor gazelle gonna be maybe just get, kicking down the sentry tower for the rest of the game but overall otherwise uh, gonna be definitely having to come back they're gonna be have at least a bit of a boon in those two piggies in them it's gonna be at least something small going for them but otherwise it's gonna be definitely meaning that the early game is not gonna be any kind of big problem for them as you can see somebody was rotating buildings and that somebody was mr yuli as he's advancing quickly, not interested in Centaurian apparently, he's gonna be rather coming for military academy and archery range. And that's fairly interesting, did he advance? Yep. Yeah. He advanced through, he uh, through Hermes. So it shouldn't be really anything on that bad, you can see he's already well protecting the gold mine. Doesn't want to be risking anything in there, as the tower is not too bad. Could be helpful in at least protecting this part of the wood line for him. As uh, so all the way into the bottom on the left side, apparently Leondela went quite aggressive going for the front DC. He should be getting away with that because the delay that was caused to Koshiro through the shifting sense apparently seems to be enough. And with the empowerment here, yeah, I'm thinking this is gonna be quite fine. As soon so it's gonna be capturing quite a nice relic, the same as Yule. So there we go, it's gonna be right on finish, it's gonna be there just a bit too late and therefore the going for the front DC is gonna be helping him in securing a better position on the map in here even though uh, does he have like, like, yeah he does have this gold map for example out of it so that's rather nice, he's gonna be also trying to protect the DC at all costs with a few barracks right next to that and Scrap and Dan is also coming for Yuli, so Yuli is gonna be the one who is gonna be a relic collector apparently already having quite a nice army prepared for himself as yes, he's gonna be chasing after Sun Tzu. Uh, Sun Tzu is also trying to find if maybe a back DC is gonna be taken by somebody as Leonardo is taking the better population slots for the town centers. Quite a good relic, really. So Valor is in, so he's gonna be right about now cast all the way to the top. You're gonna be right now watching all around the economy for Sun Tzu here at the back, which is potentially a bit dangerous here as it's quite far away from the base and the towers are also a bit further. Uh, so even though it's at the back of the base, it still could be probably raided by the opponents, but nonetheless. Yeah, it's gonna be right about now. Sun Tzu already heading forward and back. Uh, so Yuli is gonna be keeping an eye on him, but otherwise he's also sending a few units forward to the middle, where he's gonna be catching Sun Tzu's reinforcements. They are also aiming a bit more into the top side of the map to exactly just have some kind of better army, so that he can be hoping for a few mythical spawns for himself. He doesn't have the population limit for that exactly, so he should be producing at least a few houses. So far he is not. As you can see the scaling is still waiting for that with a few random harassers also thrown around, the, thrown around in here but otherwise he seems to be controlling his opponent Yuli quite well with right now getting at least the troll which is gonna be actually quite a useful unit at this point against the hoplets and all the rest and he's so far facing in here so this is gonna be quite a nice battle apparently on the right side whereas on the left there's gonna be a lot of rain going on by Kushiro Definitely needs to be protecting the gold and probably could be dropping just a few walls there and maybe even from this tower here as well just to make sure that this gold is gonna be completely protected. He's gonna be dropping armory and yeah he's gonna be having to retreat yet again and those piggies are gonna be ever so slightly in the way it seems to me. Oh well she dead. <laughs> yep piggies exactly in the way in there. So preventing him from escaping, not entirely certain if she would be surviving, but still they definitely were in the way in there. Uh, so all the way to the top, this is gonna be Kushiro taking the second TC, recognizing what the situation is and what he needs to be continuing with. So a bit of a hunt all the way into the right side, seems like... Looking at the minimap, this might be actually passable somehow. This doesn't have to be completely blocked off. So I'm gonna have to wait for that a bit later. Uh, but nonetheless, this is going to be a part now, quite solid trading by Sun Tzu. Uh, the back of the, of the enemy base and looking at all the gold mines in there look at that one gold mine in the middle second and third one in here has a lot of them and plenty of probably hunters for a bit later but for the time being he needs to be protecting especially the woodies that are come hiding inside the tower and maybe at least a few of them also went a bit different route he's gonna break about now forcing pretty much the whole army from yuli to go back and he apparently seems to be successful in walling his opponent in so he's gonna be having to retreat from uh, about like there Next to the DC, very well played. It's gonna be of course costing quite a bit of extra damage, which still could be healed through the healing spring, but nonetheless, that's a good little play. As apparently blue is unfortunately housed. And is that housing? Yeah. He is housed that way. I was kinda thinking it would be weird if he was already pop. He definitely isn't, but you mustn't forget it all the way to the top and left there is also a bit of raiding going on. This time by Luyundula has been able to catch a few villages of guard. You can see that Kushiro is gonna be losing right about now a second citizen already and that is definitely not great for him at all. Now he's having quite plenty of army in the middle, there is right about now fighting against a few speedmen and apparently even a few villages are gonna be joining into the fight. 
and true mass are not exactly the strongest of units in there. But nonetheless, he's doing what he can, even the little Prometheans, and even, well, like now the little Prometheans, but the big ones, much more important than anything else. And they're of course gonna be surviving the damage from the soldiers quite well, so maybe going for a few villages here to the bottom doesn't seem like a bad idea all that much. So he definitely needs to be protecting those hero Turmas to get rid of the budget. Because unfortunately it seems like actually targeting the priest rather than the budget. Seems like a bit of a misclick in there, but hopefully he's gonna be having opportunity to rectify that mistake. As apparently in the meantime, Sun Tzu was trying to take his front TC, and I'm talking about Yulis front TC, which definitely proved to be a quite a bit more ambitious than it should have been. <laughs> As he got totally wrecked at this point there. And he's gonna be right now having to fall back on this one a bit more further. But problem is that he's probably gonna be luring all the army from Yuli in there. And it's gonna be making significantly impossible to really just do anything with that. Unless he's gonna be luring him away like this. Oh, he will. He will just lure the whole army with one Hersir somewhere into the corner. So that he can finish with the TC. No. That's not entirely too great for Yuli. <laughs> Maybe actually Kushiro Izumi is gonna be somehow helping him from the back. Finally right about now, Yuli realizing his mistake in there, but it could have been already given plenty of hit points to the TC. You can say right now 800, that's gonna be damn close. Oh well, they would it. Oh, it won't. It won't be too close because he's taking a bit of a breather in there. So in the end, actually Sun Tzu is gonna be getting away with this, even though it's incredibly close, as he has been pursued by around the front both sides. So he got a bit lucky in there. And this is probably gonna be a good timing for Yuli to maybe even go for the second TC himself. Or he just needs to be going straight for an assault. But yet again, he doesn't have restoration and this army is pretty much kind of dead. Just look at that, those hit points are almost gone. On like most of them. All the way into the left, this is going to be right now the teal army escaping from the red. Pursuing after him. Interestingly enough, there is still the pharaoh. I don't entirely understand why. I'm thinking at this point he would be just a bit better empowering pretty much anything than in the battle because he's having plenty of priests, so I don't think he needs the pharaoh for the little Prometheans in there. As he's moving with the villages all the way to the bottom, gonna be able to capture and gather from those few hippos. Now, as the Turmas, that seems to be pretty much like the only army at this point for him, is he gonna be switching into military? Yeah. He's having so far only two counter barracks with apparently even armory and kind of alrightish heroic cage also coming forward with the military barracks being right now finished so it's gonna be a bit of a switch and question is into what if he's already preparing for Kontara in the heroic cage it actually legitimately could be and he might be preparing for that now uh, Sun Tzu is not gonna be thanking him all that much and uh, he's leading all the army right next to him but Kushiro is gonna be not having enough time he's not gonna be having enough time for all of that he needs to be escaping from that and Yuli is also getting into the Dionysus already so right about now VKTs are both into the next age whereas the opponents are not advancing yet you can see Leon Dola is quite far away and his teammate Sun Tzu that's number three is also quite far away so there is a quite a solid technological edge that could be had for VKT, so let's see how they're gonna be pro if they're gonna be using it properly and how they're gonna be using it because at this point I would be thinking like dropping a fortress next to here for Yuli as an idea, protect the TC and kind of protect the map as well. As all the way to the bottom, there are still plenty of units, but well, the one needs to be a bit more careful as he's running away. Unfortunately, not exactly noticing the army as he was chasing all the way to the top. Yep, for raiding of his own, and those guys are deadish as well, so they're gonna be fully dead pretty soon. He just needs to be a bit more careful right about now, trying to get there. Uh, it's definitely the one in the middle, you can see he's singling him out. So this one is gonna be dying. And potentially even someone else, because he's having quite a long walk right next to the tower in here. Let's see about that one. But nonetheless, all the way through bottom, Sun Tzu so far seems to be handling the situation quite fine. Even, he's, even though he's gonna be having a bit of a struggle against Yule. As he advanced, interestingly enough, also through Dionysus, looking at the Hydra obviously here. So it is basically giving up on the potential for the Underworld Passage later. So he's basically thinking this is gonna be all about a proper fight here. But he's right now being doubled and quite heavily so. And it seems to me that maybe Sun Tzu is actually gonna be blocking his path ever so slightly. I think this was more for path blocking, but he's probably gonna be using it later anyway. From the Longhouse, so very well done. Jason is gonna be dying as well with Olympic parentage apparently on him. And this is gonna be resulting into... So EE suddenly kind of stabilizing the situation in here and this raiding by Leondola can be kind of nasty, especially look at this gold, how far away it is from safety, as he not even in kind of way through, so they will have to go all the way around. 
So that could be an issue for them, quite a big one. Uh, Zekate is already on the way for Kushiro then, and Sun Tzu though is coming through Bragi. So in quite no time, you're gonna be looking at plenty of plenty of piggies running all across the map. So, Teami so far is getting at least, at least stronger for Yuli, as he's also investing into a few hip aspects in there, but he's not into investing even into, for example, medium infantry, which should be definitely going a long way towards uh, his success. But the thing is that right now Kushiro is getting a bit pushed back, because he has invested into upgrades into the ages quite a lot. As even though 15 minutes is definitely quite a normal a mythical time and not really anything out of the ordinary for Atlanteans, it's still gonna be resulting into a potentially bit of a chance for the Undula. Thing is that he doesn't have heroic age himself and therefore he cannot push together with at least a few siege weapons, which is something that he desperately needs at this point. So Tatarang gate right next to the front DC, and that's actually making plenty of sense. Uh, because he's having plenty of villages right next to it. You can see about 23 villages are right about now, not getting any kind of gold and even a bit of food in there. So quite nicely done. And as all the way into the middle, this is gonna be right now Red Army yet again being caught, but at least Sun Tzu is trying to help a bit, a bit in the fight, but I don't think it's gonna be a little, all that long lasting as he doesn't have all that much of a chance. And as to the bottom, he's getting raided himself by Kushiro Izumi, and it seems to be going rather nicely, even though he's at least caught up with some uh, hair series, and he's gonna be getting rid of a few hero turmas there. As he's even trying to get the back TC. That's unfortunately seems like that's gonna be discovered at this point. As the back TC has been finished also for Yundula. You can see that Tartarian Gate has been completely and utterly destroyed already. And it seems that actually the TC is still full health. Uh, but Kushiro is definitely using the opportunity for obvious reasons. So right now push forward into his opponent as he has been slightly weakened by the attack that he was just about now under and it seems that the stolen battle bar could be actually a bit of a problem right now for Sun Tzu but luckily he has a plenty of Hercules right there and therefore he should be strong enough to deal with it. In the meantime there's gonna be of course right now Kushiro pushing forward I don't expect he's gonna be having that many upgrades he's having at least heavy infantry which is already not too bad for Sun Tzu he's gonna be already no base upgrades that's kind of nice Considering he just freshly advanced into the heroic ages, rather all right for the opponent, or rather for the ally, nothing very else on the right flank. Since all the army from Sun Tzu, or rather most of it, no, pretty much like all looking at this small detachment here, it's gonna be of course a bit of an invitation for Yuli to push forward, or maybe even take the opportunity and jump into the mythic himself, as Hell is on the way, Neftis is on the way as well, so the apps and flows of the game are continuing, and resources, yep, definitely getting closer for Yuli, he wants to be getting mythic. He wants to be getting there as soon as possible. So there we go, there's gonna be right about even some Hamar trolls in there, you can see double head on them. And they're gonna be actually quite significantly important for this fight, as it shouldn't be all that hard, I don't deal with Yule. But I don't cast in the bronze, no. I don't have that much of an army here. Not that much, so let's see what it's actually gonna be doing. Against the slingers it should be helpful. Uh, the slingers just basically don't have the high attack and right about now they're gonna be doing measly like maybe one damage against this throw is definitely with the 79% pierce armor but against all the rest it's not gonna be all that guy either uh, so <laughs> seems like Sun Tzu is actually having so many trolls at this point he's having 8 hammer trolls is he still having auto key on them? no right now he's getting Thurissa's rune for better movements before the myth units so those throws are gonna be even a bit faster as Neftis is in, as the lag, last heroic age. You can see a few random villages all around here. No, potentially could have been giving him actually the cheaper farms. I wonder if he did, or if that's the reason why he actually went there. He's having one of his own, with Nidok already cast, and it's gonna be exactly on through gold miners, and countered by a ceasefire, which is kind of interesting, but it also makes sense because he... That wasn't because of the Nidhogg, that was because of this town center. And that is, of course, something that is having, interestingly enough, a double bonus for him. <laughs> okay, so nicely done. Gonna be about now looking at a bit of a build up by Sun Tzu. Uh, he's gonna be wanting to, to try and do this, but he needs to be waiting for the hill forts after this one is gonna be gone. Gonna make them now. And of course, with Hira coming forward, it's gonna be quite a solid massacre should be already sending those trolls somewhere else unless he wants to be sacrificing them. It's not, not gonna be too great right about now for him as the front TC has been successfully captured by Kushiro Izumi on the left side and otherwise just a bit of raiding still going on uh, with a few 
and destroyers and some fanatics or what I'm looking at there. Heavy fanatics and you can see copper mail and copper shields at least here. But this DC seems to be pretty much those looking at this army. Okay, so probably no. He's gonna be waiting with the lightning storm, probably as a counter got power to the flame weapons I'm expecting. As the about now had to be casting it, so he does need to be having and on the counter got power to all of it. There we go, so it's gonna be the TC in the end. Apparently he's gonna be sacrificing it. That's rather interesting. Right about now, Zunto has lost the TC, the one on the backside that we already knew that he's gonna be losing. This one, is it gonna be safe? If not, oh no, oh no. It, since this is not safe, this is actually really badly cast right now by Yule. Should have been casting it a whole lot earlier if he wanted to really protect the TC. He's gonna be killing the army to a good degree. Unfortunately, replacements are even worse than the army that was here already. <laughs> All those Hamar trolls are gonna be replaced by a significant number of fire giants. That's looking really similar. So very well played by Sun Tzu. And even though he lost the back TC, and he's right now having quite a heavy struggle with the heavy destroyers inside his base. And of course, Slingers fighting against them, not exactly like the bestest of ideas. Definitely needs a whole lot more... Uh, a whole lot more Axemen against that. It seems to me, unless he's gonna be really fighting this, which he should, absolutely should be really fighting this 8 attack. There's 37 melee armor, so they're gonna be still doing quite a decent damage. It's gonna be at this tornado coming down, and it's gonna be on the front base. Probably TC should be dying. 3220. The, the hit points are not bad. Sun Tzu has loaded TC exactly as we expected, but since he does have at least a bit of a push forward with some siege weapons, it could be working. As the TC is... Oh, 13 hit points! <laughs> 13 hit points standing, so it's actually right about now, because you're gonna be able to save it. As Ancestors are coming forward, just basically needs to be sending one Ancestor and it's gonna be falling. Just needs to be breathing at that, at the building, and it's gonna be falling, yep. Now exactly a few hits, TC is gone. So, Kushurism is gonna be down to do as well, with the battle still going on quite strongly. But the units all the way to the bottom are gonna be quite easily destroyed very quickly, but those two hero archai are still a bit of a problem. Nonetheless, all the way to the top side, this is gonna be of course Sun Tzu pushing forward, but he needs to be scared about the Bellerophon and of course Medusas. They're gonna be one killing and one shotting all the units. Now, right about now, that is right about now facing, but the TC is... is it? Is he yet again? Oh, right about now, I don't think he's gonna be finished. He's gonna be so close, but no, this time it's not gonna be getting finished. There are way too many infantry guys getting there exactly in time. Just a second before, that was a problem. Now, there we go. This is gonna be, of course, aiming into the flame weapon territory. Uh, Sun Tzu is hoping that this is gonna be helping him with only a few units fighting against all of this and keeping the TC alive, but that just did not happen. And he's gonna be having to put on a whole lot more effort at this point. Just gonna be slightly curious if maybe... Uh, Yuli is gonna be continuing with the Medusas, he definitely should against the Fire Giants, yep. He does have auto key on the Medusas in there. He's not exactly playing with too many villages though, should be probably rectifying that. Uh, but nonetheless, all the way inside the base, he's gonna be unfortunately a bit of a stop for the trade for Yundula. But he has, right now needs to be sending back, and hopefully soon, so he's gonna be telling him enough about that. Uh, so all the way to the left side, this is gonna be apparently good control of Yundula of the front TC. As the Heavy Slingers with Copper Shields are at this point kind of good enough for this looking at the heavy fanatics from the opponent and the whole copper line it doesn't seem that it's gonna be exactly that good enough again so the egyptian is spamming against him considering especially the fact that he's fighting only with two tcs against three and the catapults are gonna be having quite an easy time of getting rid of all of those fallacies or the <laughs> no no palaces rather <laughs> although those palaces here right behind the tree line all the way on the right flanks is gonna be right about now. Kushiro is only trying to escape with a few villages. Potentially, some disaster could be had if Sun Tzu is gonna be noticing, but the wall is in. So, probably fine. They're probably quite fine indeed. As in the meantime, this battle is still going on quite strongly. And heavy pass with bronze and copper are here, but he doesn't have the advantage of the Forge of Olympus. So, therefore, when the thing is gonna be right about now here, or rather real. And pretty much the same as for Sun Tzu, they just need to be investing the proper resources into it. With Batna, Yuli is gonna be thinking that he can actually take the TCE for his own, and it almost seems to me that maybe he could be actually right. Because I don't see all that much of an army at this point for green. Can see Saitan win. He basically needs just a mountain giant and the fire giant to get rid of the hit points on the settlement. That's gonna be good enough. Good enough indeed, but otherwise, well, he seems to be struggling, struggling with the economy quite a bit. So let's check what's the problem. Mm-hmm. Hendax and pickaxe at 24 minutes, that's the problem. 
That's why he doesn't have resources for anything, unfortunately, as this ally. As an Egyptian, pickaxe at 24 minutes is also a bit interesting, let's say. But he's at least doing quite a good job. <laughs> so he doesn't seem to be mining too much, as he has destroyed all three palaces on the left side. He's right about now gonna be also looking at the front TC. But first, he is gonna be trying to drop a Migdal. And he does have plenty of gold mines all around. So I'm thinking he's gonna be quite fine in this game going forward. And he's of course gonna be stopping even the trade from his opponent and ally as Yuli is unfortunately for Sun Tzu finishing with the front TC and that's when the things are gonna be getting significantly hairy as the mythical age is in the upgrades are slowly but surely gonna be coming and once there are gonna be way too many of them and you can see even a few towers on top of that then suddenly this is not gonna be as a simple game for him no not like it was any kind of simple game up until now to be honest so Heracles and later Batman is gonna be even better off on moving in Let's see how they're gonna be dealing and able to deal with all of this. So far, at least the hill fort, if he's gonna be able to finish the hill fort on the left side, and he's probably gonna be quite fine still. I expect he's gonna be having that much of a problem. Fire Giant should be concentrating more on the towers in there, but nonetheless, all the way to the left side. So far, Leondula is having quite a good push forward. And he seems to be doing quite a nice job of even getting rid of this Inflamberts. And it seems to me he's gonna be right now out controlling Kushiro Izumi quite well. Tax collectors burning pitch for Yule, getting all the upgrades that he, keep on, that he could be mustering and getting anywhere. Uh, so he's gonna be checking yet again onto the military upgrades. So far only double copper for Leondula. He's still the same as yet a bit before. As uh, the opponent is switching to a few Contara with bronze and double copper. Which is also not significantly different than what we have seen a bit before. All the way into the top, this is gonna be just a still a bit of walling, apparently Odysseus is enjoying standing behind it. Uh, so it's about now he has been selected, champion Toxotai and a bronze, copper and iron male. That's of course, iron male is the most important against Norse players. And against the Norse players and it seems to me that he's about now getting quite a good situation here going and Sun Tzu is on a back foot, quite definitely. And the reason for that is really gonna be the economical problems because he just cannot Properly upgrade, you can see his opponent is having shaft mine, carpenters and even flood control in that. Whereas he is still on the baseline, he at least got the plow. I think he didn't have even a plow just a bit before. So that was helping him. But nonetheless, on the left side, it seems that Kushiro Izumi has been somehow able to make a bit of a comeback. You can see that right now Leon Dolai has sorry, actually been forced back. As 45 town center is gonna be right about now at 3,500. And let's look at the units. There's something more than that we have seen before. Not really too much. Let's check what's being researched. Bronze shields and champion infantry for Sun Tzu. So Sun Tzu's upgrade is gonna be significantly important. Bronze shields gonna be helpful, helpful against the TC fire and the Hillfort fire in there as well. But nonetheless, this Migdol once is gonna be finished. It's gonna be pretty much me sorry, meaning that this base is gonna be significantly hard for Kushiro to get rid of. As he's trying to drop a few more siege works into the battlefield so that he's gonna be a bit able or a bit more able and capable of getting rid of the trade route and of course of the palaces and uh, all kinds of military buildings on top of that. Uh, so on the right flank though, he is definitely gonna be having to look after his teammate Asunso is right about now getting handled rather well. And it doesn't seem all that optimistic for him at all. Uh, he's struggling to put up army for champion throwing X-Men with double iron and bronze. So the upgrades are really good for him. Problem is, that fighting against late game Greek is usually quite not fun for Norse. So double bronze and one copper or other one iron already in. So it seems to me that at this point at least the CC should be falling. All those Petroboli and of course the tower spam is gonna be uh, just basically the death of the Norse. Those towers are always quite hard to deal with. And right now with the 20 population limit lower on the baseline, so basically even more, because of the fortified upgrade, this is gonna be getting even easier for Yuli to push forward. As he's gonna be even pushing with a fortress right next to the fort, right next to the town center. And I'm thinking that Green is gonna be certainly needing assistance from Leundula. But considering that Leundula is actually having problems himself, uh, this opponent has been able to make a really quite a solid comeback. Right, even a few fire siphons threatening the DC. Taking it down to only 206 hit points. And the item needs to be repaired as soon as possible. But it's just nowhere to be seen so far to be doing that. He seems to be at least going for a bit of a tower himself. As the opponent is doing the same thing. But well, the TC is gone and all the batch of fire siphons is in. And therefore it seems all unlikely that Leondra will be all that able and all that capable to help his teammate all that much. 
He's at least doing something what he can. He's gonna be dropping a few mega strongholds right next to the TC. The question is how strong and how quick that is going to be as the fortress is already in. Unfortunately, tower is shooting through building instead of going through army. That's something that you need to be paying attention to, because that does tend to happen, as the Miguel is going to be certainly destroyed. Doesn't seem to be coming out all that much. And up. Yeah, some no question is going to be right about now destroyed by the next south. Coming forward, so this is not coming forward, and that basically means that neither is the one on the left side, and his hill fort is going to be the only one, and maybe the siege works in here. Not yet again, he's just not going to be getting any easier, Yuli is going to be even trying to get the TC, I'm thinking, after he's going to be finishing with the tower, or together. Together, they're going to be doing it right about now at the same time, as there is also a bit of, not entirely raiding, but the villagers are actually aiming for a dock. <laughs> Across the whole map, all the way to the backside. And what is he trying to do? He's gonna be able to shoot at this. No, that's a bit tricky. I'm not entirely positive this is in range. This one is in range. Quite certainly. And this water is connected. So he definitely could be doing that. So that's certainly quite an option for him. You can see right now that Sun Tzu has unfortunately for notice though. But it seems that he might not be actually fast enough to get rid of all of the villages. But at least nothing else is gonna be coming on. They are all gonna be dying for this effort, but still, it's already done, you can see a few siege boats are already coming forward, with the TC also being captured by Yuli, so he's gonna be at 4 TCs, fully upgraded Zeus in the late game, yeah, we kinda know what that spells, oh, fully upgraded, almost fully, double bronze, iron and heavy, but that's at this point with the numbers that he's gonna be having, the huge advantage against Sun Tzu, who is still at the double iron and bronze, and champion, well, so probably not gonna be having enough, Especially with, for example, the Medusas, one shot in plenty of units in there. In the meantime, there's gonna be right about now a bit of a clean up next to from DC of Kushiro Izumi. So he's right now doing what he can to get rid of the attempt at tower blocking. So that he can finally get the third DC and get going there as well. So that's something for him. As he seems to be doing quite a good job. You can see he's basically complete another blockage of the whole path towards his base. It's always gonna be incredibly difficult for him to be getting anywhere. Uh, at least right about now though, Leonel is kind of feeling that maybe he could be getting the front TC. Thing is that I'm not entirely all that positive it's gonna be mattering that much. However, and in what kind of direction this battle is gonna be going. Because the right battle is completely done. I don't think there's gonna be as much uh, that actually Sun Tzu can be doing. Especially since Yuli is even spamming a few towers and military buildings and units into the middle and it's certainly quite a nice idea because it's gonna be just stopping the trade and giving him even more of a foothold in there even if he's gonna be losing the army exactly as he's right now losing to the attack no the attack pretty much like a defensive effort from Sun Tzu so that doesn't seem to be all that, all that optimistic for SOE at this point you can see are gonna be a few dogs and apparently the dog has been also destroyed for Yule so he hasn't been able to get up even a single boat at least as far as it seems at this point, maybe the one actually got finished, but also got incredibly quickly destroyed. Some kind of dead Myrmidon is gonna be poisoning the waters in there. And I'll solo into the middle, here again, the TC already captured. And even though there are plenty of fire giants, unfortunately the trade is coming exactly through the through the towers. So, yeah. They're not gonna be exactly all that long living here, unfortunately, unless those fire giants are gonna be finally concentrating on everything that they need to in the middle in there as the gold is gonna be slowly running on the left side you can see there's even a spy here <laughs> not gonna be making that much of a difference but on the left flank it seems to me that actually Kushiro Izumi has finally found a way how to maybe even make a claim on the town center and it seems to me that he might be even succeeding with that as the catapults are not coming forward on either of the siege uh, workshops and therefore once this DC is gonna be finished then Leondo is gonna be the one under pressure and he already, to be honest, he already is. You can see all bronze ready about now for Kushiro. All Yondola, he's having heavy slingers and he's double bronze and iron. So he's actually well upgraded himself. But he seems to be struggling on the economy. He's having plenty of gold, but it's about it. As for Sun Tzu, he's having 3000 gold. Because the trade is like the only thing that is going for him. As for Kushiro, Izumi, kind of good economy. He's going to be able to handle... Uh, num he's gonna be able to handle the 30 C quite fine. As for Yuli, he's having plenty of gold, so maybe he could be even incorporating even more prayers and getting more Medusas in there for the gold. As they are quite a solid unit and rather difficult and hard to deal with for Sun Tzu at this stage. 
So that's gonna be so also a bit of a push forward by the Petrobol Ice still in through houses. And I'm making the situation even worse for Sun Tzu to handle at all, even though he's doing what he can and like absolutely what he can here in the battle. Uh, so a bit more to the left side, there's gonna be just some random Myrmidons just running around when they can be getting onto the trade. And the trade is still not going from anywhere else. It's kinda curious that they're actually going this way though. Why they are not going like here exactly? Why is he having the trade going like through the middle? It's kinda slightly strange. Uh, but nonetheless, there's gonna be even a push onto the front TC for Leondula and maybe quite a successful one. Because all the way onto the left side, there are gonna be a few more towers coming forward from Kushiro and he's having already quite a solid army. Champion Arkai with double bronze and iron, he's getting there. On through full upgrade. Now Sliandula, Camelry doesn't have any kind of line upgrades. Double bronze and copper, uh, the double bronze and iron. And he is apparently switching into plenty of priests because yeah, as we have seen, that's the resource that he's having. Unfortunately, the TC is down to only 900 hit points at this point. Therefore, it shouldn't be all that difficult for uh, Kushiro Izumi to somehow close it up. In no time, especially if he's gonna be able to get at least a few towers. Does he have crenellations? Yes. He does have crenellations at this point. As the Titan is also being researched by Yule. And of course he can afford that. He's already pushing against his opponent. The Titan would be just complete and utter closing deal for him. As there were a few towers. Still attempted a bit earlier by Leondula, but never exactly got finished here. Uh, Sun Tzu is doing what he can, complete impossible things. To keep this alive, but uh, the more siege are gonna be coming forward, and the more units are gonna be camped in the middle of his trade route. And yeah, well, of course, the more danger he's going to be in. All the way into the left, and yeah, yet again, this is gonna be right now uh, still kind of continue pushing through TC, but you can see at least a bit of repair is going on. So it's gonna be getting a bit tricky that we are using even the mercenaries all the way onto the left side. And he could be definitely having at least a few like catapults here and shooting at uh, these palaces. He shouldn't be having that much of a problem with that. So he just needs to be getting a few of them. Uh, but unfortunately he's having... Oh no, he's having two here. So he doesn't have the population limit for that. That's uh, kind of unlucky. So he needs to be doing something about it. But they're in the middle of the map. There are a few Contari and they are going for a solid raiding. Unfortunately they're getting countered by sk <laughs> Slingers. I mean, like the slingers could be good against the arches, but against the horses, not exactly. But at least there are a few towers at least present. But unfortunately, at this point, they are working as a pretty much a clogging point. That's not exactly what he wanted out of it. Unless Titan is already getting started, and it doesn't seem to me that uh, SOEE should be having any kind of chance of stopping that. You can see all the god powers are gone. They are pretty much right about now gone all around. And there's gonna be even a tower right about now, finally, attempted to be finished by Leundola as he was able to send a few villages forward. But the battle is just inevitably coming closer and closer to their base. And of course closer, closer to a so crucial and also weak trade route, obviously. And the trade route can be destroyed so easily. So there we go, he's going to be right about now on the left side, still continuing forward with a few catapults. Getting rid of some buildings, a few towers that were here. Needs to be a bit more concentrating, probably on the palace in there. As the villagers are yet again coming forward to deny any kind of map control to Leundula. As he's still fighting as much as he can with heavy cavalry prepared, iron and double bronze. So the same as he was having a bit before. As the opponent having heavy contari and double bronze and iron. So pretty much the same as well. So levy mainline units. So it's going to be allowing him to be producing them a bit faster. Which is of course going to be quite helpful. So quite nicely done in there, as all the way into the right flank, unfortunately, there are even a few more towers coming forward, as there's a bit of a counterplay by Leondula. He is doing what he can with at least spamming a few towers into the middle, unfortunately this is gonna be spelling a bit of a disaster with the path in for the camels, I think, in. And for the ox cards, it's not entirely all that great. But impressively enough, Sun Tzu is still able, at only two TCs, able to handle Yule. Now so he's switching into plenty of Halepoli and unfortunately it seems like he doesn't have enough enough actually room for normal army. I wonder if he actually screwed up something with the trade. I'm kind of thinking happy that he might have. Let's have a look under the resources. He doesn't have too many resources. At the 40 CS, Lundel is also strained and missing on the pop limit. Sun Tzu is having tons of resources. So he could be having a bit more army if he wanted. And Kushiro is kind of so-so. So let's check into the post game. I'm kind of wondering. Like one... No, Yuli is actually overdoing it. He's having like 130. He's having like 130. That's a bit too much. He should be content with about like 120, 115. 
it should be enough for him, especially right now, right about now, since he's gonna be having the Titan. He should be removing that a bit, but nonetheless, right about now, this is gonna be Leondula already falling, and on the left side, Kushiro Izumi has been able to break him through, and with Yuli also breaking his opponent, well, this is gonna be quite a good, actually, game to begin with. 37 minutes, didn't even seem that long. That's how engaging the game was, and it's gonna be a victory for VKT against SOEE on the home map of SOEE. So let's right, right about now see what VKT's map is going to be. Let's check into the post game. That is 13,000 points right about now for Yuli. Yeah, well, his battle against Sun Tzu was basically the most important. Though Kushiro Izumi seemed to be so close, so close to finishing Leundula, but somehow it just rather the other way around. He seemed to be so close to be getting finished by Leundula, but somehow it just didn't materialize. So really good defense by Kushiro and the last use of towers by both VKT players. That was also certainly solid portion and part of why they were having such a good game in the end. Because that was the extra population limit they needed to handle the opponents. So Yuli at 40,000 here. Yeah, he was having quite a good economy in the end, but I think he kind of over it. You can see 132 civilian unit high. Leon Dua even at 140, but he was uh, then get he was then cal calling it a bit later. When he was at 40 CC, it, was, it wasn't such a bad thing because he wasn't fully upgraded on True Echo. But, yeah, well, he definitely had the opportunity there. Just couldn't close this time. You can see even resources tributed by Leundola to Sun Tzu to keep him afloat in the impossible fight. 2 versus 40 CCs there. <laughs> Good ups in the end. I pretty much everything and everybody. Yeah, those shifting sense this time, even through the nice upgrade, upgrade time didn't exactly work out that well. Medusa Matriarch. You really did have even that upgrade. You can see good booming. Just once was a bit back. He was more concentrated on the battle, but this time he didn't exactly lead into the victory. Sleondola was having a huge army. Kushiro Izumi, kind of not really anywhere nearby, but about like here, he caught up with the upgrades and he was able to really outspam Leondola there for a moment, and that was exactly what allowed him to be getting the 30C. That was really interesting though. He was able to do that, so good job, GG.